Hello and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. In today's episode, we are going to do 10 Christmas DIYs. I tried to find secondhand items that I knew you guys would be able to find or you might already have at home and can use for free. So some of these items would be old ornaments like this that I got for 25 cents at a yard sale old chapter books that people tend to throw away or give away, and outdated framed decor. I'm gonna do what I do best with these items and transform dirt cheap or free items into high-end beautiful pieces of decor. Let's go. Many of these items I got from yard sales, I got for free, and I got from Walmart for very, very cheap. I can't wait to show you how each and every one of these is going to completely transform into something that has just a little bit of Christmas magic. The first DIY I'm going to do is a book stack. I'm going to use these three books because they had really beautiful patina. I got them for free at a yard sale somebody was giving them away and I like that they're all the same size and about the same thickness. The first thing I'm going to do is rip off the covers and then find a pretty blank page to leave it at as far as how many pages I've ripped off. That way when I stack them you don't see a whole lot of words on either side of the book. I'm going to do that to all three books to make sure that they're uniform. Once the books are bare, I'm just going to hot glue them together. These extra scraps are going to come in handy for my next craft. The next step is to use some beige or tan paint to paint the spines of the books to make it to where they're about the same color as the pages. To take this book stack to the next level, I'm going to use some gold leaf rub and buff around the edges of the spines of the books just to give it some extra oomph. For this next part, I'm going to put on a Christmas saying. This is where you guys can get creative and make it any way that suits your needs. I'm going to be putting Oh Holy Night on my book stack, but there are a million other things that you can put on your books. And this also works just for putting your family members' names on it. You can use it for different holidays, so it doesn't have to be a Christmas craft that you do if you wanted to do it just for home decor or if you wanted to do it again for another holiday, this is so easy. I got these stamps at Michael's, but you can write it in with a Sharpie or a paint pen, or you can use your Cricut machines to write the letters. There's a lot of different options. You don't have to do it exactly how I do it. To take this book stack to the next level and make it a little more high end, I'm going to use some velvet ribbon in a very beautiful green color. It's kind of a muted minty green that I thought would work perfectly for Christmas. It would also look really pretty on spring decor or just neutral decor around your house, but for this one I'm going to try and give it some Christmas magic. So I'm just going to put three of these ribbons around. Um, the long way and the or the vertical way and the horizontal way that way it looks as though the ribbons were tied around the book stack and then I'm going to add a bow to the top.
For those of you watching that don't know how to make a ribbon bow, I just used the ribbon wrapped it around my four fingers um, several times and then I go back over that wrapped section with a little piece of the same ribbon to hold it all together. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube in case mine was a little too fast paced for you. I'm also going to add this accent gold ribbon because I have a lot of gold Christmas decor and I thought that just green would look great but with the gold it looks extra Christmassy. And keep in mind, you guys can use any colors that you want. You can use Christmas present wrapping ribbon. You can use whatever you have on hand to make this a truly free DIY by using just what you have. Now that this one's done, I'm going to show you a couple more crafts and how we can stage it to add it to other Christmas decor in just a minute. But let's start on the next craft. Remember I said I was going to keep those papers to do the next craft? Well here they are. I'm going to make tiny little cone trees that are really great to add to Christmas villages or to add when staging the book stacks that you're going to make. It, they go anywhere and they are free. They cost nothing to make, which makes it just another really great DIY, especially around Christmas time when we're all on really tight budgets. I feel like a free craft and free Christmas decor really gets you into the spirit, especially when it's homemade. This is also something that you can get your kids or grandkids involved in because it's such an easy craft. And I think it's really great when you get into the spirit of Christmas and really being together with your family and then next year when you pull these out and 10 years from now when you pull these decorations out you can say remember when you made this with me? I'm going to add some more gold rub and buff to these so that they match the rest of my decor but you can also use craft paint and make, uh, make it look like there's snow on them or you can do a little bit of green or you can paint these a solid color whatever goes with what decor you have and also what you have on hand. You don't have to do the exact same thing I do. I would love it if you guys would get creative with what you already have on hand. It really helps to save money so that way you can enjoy the holiday just a little bit more without as much stress. Here they are staged with my book stack and I will show you them again inside a Christmas village because my next craft is going to be making a Christmas village. For my Christmas village, I bought these little village houses from Walmart for about $2 a piece. You can also find these at yard sales quite often. My biggest suggestion would be to look around Christmas time and after Christmas time at yard sales. And then also to look on the clearance uh, when Christmas is over, go to Walmart and get these on clearance for next year. I know it's kind of hard to think about Christmas next year when Christmas is, hasn't even happened yet this year, but that's really the best way to save money when doing crafts like these. So I'm just spray painting them with a flat white paint. I wanted it to be flat because it gives it more of a snowy look that way and it helps to make it appear softer. It just looks better, it's more aesthetically pleasing, it looks a little more high end. And then once I'm done painting them, I'm going to take them inside and add some snow glitter to the top. To add on the snow glitter, I'm just going to brush on some Mod Podge. And if you don't have Mod Podge, you can use regular Elmer's glue or you can use clear coat to make it stick enough for your glitter to stick on. I'm using the cheap Walmart brand glitter that's in a white color. You could use gold, you could use silver, you could use a different kind of white glitter. It's whatever works best for your decor and for your budget. Here it is finished and I staged it but I want to show you the difference it makes when you add trees to the staging of the book stack and the Christmas village. It really makes it more upscale and more beautiful and more whimsical when you add the trees to it like I did here. Thank you. 
for the next three projects I'm going to be flipping these frames that I found at a yard sale. I actually got them for 50 cents a piece. A trick that I have learned is that when you go to yard sales or estate sales, when you're trying to get something on a really tight budget, go at the very end when they're about to close because usually they're either going to give things away or they're going to drastically reduce the price like with these frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the current art that's inside these frames. Then I'm going to go over them with that same gold leaf rub and buff. I will have this linked in my Amazon store if you guys have never heard of it before or if you don't know where to buy it from. You can usually find it at craft stores, but it's almost the same price on Amazon as it is in craft stores usually. So I'll try and make sure I find one and put it in my Amazon store. That is a, a good price point. If you don't have rub and buff, you can use any kind of gold paint. Um, there are paint pens that are gold or you can use craft paint that is gold or you could put sparkles on there that's gold or you can paint it a completely different color other than gold. But I just wanted all of my pieces to be cohesive together so that my decor looks like a curated, designed, high-end looking uh, group together uh, instead of being disjointed by being different colors and themes. So now it is time to create the art inside each of these framed pieces. I'm just taking out what was in there before and I'm going to put in some wrapping paper tree shapes. It's really easy to do. You don't have to be an amazing artist to create tree shapes. Trust me, it, anybody could do it. And I want you to use the wrapping paper that you're going to use under the tree. That way everything again looks like it is meant to go together, like it is a collection that you spent a lot of time thinking about and putting together. And it'll look really good, especially on Christmas morning when all your presents are out and they match your decor. For the last frame, I saw that there was a really pretty silhouette within the picture that was originally in the frame, and it's that wood framed, um, I don't even know, border I guess that was in there before. So I'm just going to cut it out so that I can reuse it with a Christmas tree inside of it. And you can paint these any color that you want to paint them to match what you have going on with your decor. I'm leaving the cardboard in the background because I feel like it matches the brown of the books. And I think it also, the brown looks really great with this tartan or plaid colored wrapping paper. So I got lucky there, but if this cardboard doesn't match what you're doing, you can put in a piece of paper, you could put paint down first that uh, is a good color background for whatever wrapping paper that you're using, or you could even use the book pages from free books that you find to make these trees or make the background just to make it even more of a free project that will cost you nothing. Here they are all finished. I apologize for the glare. It's impossible to get pictures or videos of framed pieces when there's glass inside because glass just has a glare to it. But they look gorgeous in person. They look very Ralph Lauren style, very high-end, expensive. And now it is time to move on to the next craft. These are the things I'm going to be using to create my next craft. Leftover ribbon, yarn, a little wooden bead, and pages from that free book. So with these pieces, I'm going to be creating a paper angel to hang on the tree. You can also turn them into garlands by making several of them and tying them onto a string. The first thing you're going to need to do is square off your pages. So I cut off the extra border around the edge and then you're going to accordion fold 
each of the pages in the same uh, size and direction. That way they can go together seamlessly when we glue them together. The next step you're going to do is uh, find about one third from the top and fold that over to create the wings of the angel. And then you're going to put some yarn through a wooden bead like this and glue it between the two pieces. And that will be the head of your angel as well as the piece that you're going to use to hang it on the tree. I glued the head down just to make it more stable and then you're going to fluff the angel out and that's almost it. You just need to add a halo to the top of the head. Now we can be officially finished and hang it on the tree. It was the most fun and easiest DIY that I did. My kids really loved being a part of it. Another free craft that I'm going to show you guys is how to make paper snowflakes out of old book pages. I have seen this done with paper bags as well, but I wanted to make a free version of this because I think that sometimes it's better to do things that are free, especially if you already have these on hand. So the book pages that I'm using for these projects with the angel and now with the snowflake is actually an old outdated encyclopedia set so a lot of times you can find encyclopedia sets being thrown out because the information with them is very outdated this is another very simple DIY or craft that you can do anybody can do it and you can also bring in your kids to do it with you the cutting part you should probably have an adult do just because it's very thick at the end so you need a kind of a stronger hand to cut it but it's still very easy For the next craft, I have these three giant ornaments. I got them three for a dollar at a yard sale. They were pretty beat up. I probably could have got them cheaper, but for some reason, the people thought that they were worth three for a dollar, so I was willing to pay that to get this craft on video for you guys. I'm very into chinoiserie and French decor, and I think that it's also a very high-end look, and so I'm gonna go for that chinoiserie look for these ornaments. I'm going to spray paint them in that same flat white that I did for my Christmas village and once they're all covered in that flat white and dry I'm going to do a decoupage over them in a chinoiserie blue and white print. I'm going to be using napkins for my decoupage but you can also use wrapping paper or any other kind of paper that you have and do it in any style that fits your style. This just suits my style. When you do it with a napkin, you have to make sure you take off that white backing that's on there that I showed you already. And then you're going to cut the design into smaller pieces because you're putting it on a sphere shape. So a square isn't going to fit right on a sphere. So you have to break it into smaller pieces to help it curve the correct way over the ball shape. I love this project. I think the most of everything that I have done today, although I had the most fun creating the paper angels with my kids, but this is the most my style and I love how it looks like vintage china that you would have in a beautiful china hutch, just very classy and antique, which are the things that I love the most. And it looks really good on my tree, you'll see when I'm finished, it looks so good go so well with all the rest of my ornaments and I hope that when you guys do this craft at home you do it in something that matches yours so then once you add it to the tree you get that same feeling that I did. One other thing I did to kind of level it up a little bit was to add some periwinkle blue colored ribbon around the top part here where you put the hanger to hang the ornament. I didn't even have to hang the ornament though so what I do with these very large ones is I just push them into the tree. They're so large that the tree just hugs it and holds it in place. It actually looks better this way than trying to hang it. But now that it's finished, what do you guys think of it in my tree? I really think this is my most favorite project that I did today as far as how it looks in my own home. And if you do these projects, please let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. My final DIY is going to be this little bucket that I got for 50 cents at the end of an estate sale. So like I was telling you earlier, you can get really good deals 
by going at the end of a sale when they're trying to wrap up and get rid of everything that's left. What I'm going to do with this bucket is create a cone tree sort of topiary looking thing and I'm going to use some leftover cardboard that was part of my kids toys that we bought and I'm going to cut it to the shape of this bucket and then fit in three dowels which is actually two dowels that I got from Walmart and then broke one of them in half and made one of them just a little bit shorter. Dowels at Walmart are less than a dollar each so I only spent about two dollars and fifty cents maybe for this whole craft. Oh wait no maybe a little bit more because I am going to add some moss to the bottom but you can get moss from the Dollar Tree extremely cheap. So again this is such a cheap DIY. I see topiaries like this uh, with the trees, the cone trees and things like that at stores like Home Goods, and they want to charge like 20 to $30 for them and this one was definitely under $5. A really good bang for your buck and I'm using that leftover paper in that outdated encyclopedia to create the cone trees that I'm going to put on top of the dowels that I stuck into the cardboard. To make the longer tree I'm just gluing two pieces of paper together and then making the cone with the two pieces of paper together and cutting them to fit the right shape to be flat on the bottom. I also shoved some balls of paper up inside it to help lift the tree a little bit higher and to help it be able to be glued to the dowel. It could have stayed like this but I wanted to add gold again to create all of these into a more cohesive looking collection. So I'm going to spray paint a little bit of gold on the trees to give it an antique look especially focusing on the top of the trees with more gold. Then I'm going to bring it inside and add some ornaments. I say that with air quotes because I'm going to use some old buttons that I bought from an antique mall a long time ago. I'm just going to glue on some white and pearlescent buttons on here as if they were ornaments and I'm only going to do it on the center tree. I felt like if I had done all three it would have been a little too much but I thought that this added the perfect amount of whimsy and creativity to the piece and you can put on whatever you want if you do this craft at home anything that matches your design it's just really the layout that I'm giving you the inspiration for and you can customize it however you see fit thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw today don't forget to hit subscribe down at the bottom and I will see you next time bye